Okay, so these just came in. I ordered it on Amazon. I believe for all of this, there's 25 jars. It comes with a little sifter and then like these guys. I think this was around 20, 25 or 28 dollars. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of them before I put anything inside of them just because, you know, you wanna be clean and safe. So we're just gonna wash them and then we'll start um, organizing the spices inside. Okay. So this is our spice drawer. As you can see, we just literally put it in a drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and sort through it. And then I'll go make labels as well. Hi loves! So it is the next day and I just finished printing and cutting um, my spice labels. I'll actually have this on my blog or in my shop in a few weeks. Let me know down below in the comments if that's something you'd like um, to be able to purchase in my shop. Um, I was thinking um, having a few sheets customizable for you guys or something like that. Let me know. I love making these but this is on white glossy paper so it's gonna really look good on the glass and since it's glossy you can kind of like wipe it off it's not gonna get ruined so i'm excited to get them on the jars i have 24 jars for so 24 labels the jars did come with labels they're black like this though which i'm not a huge fan of so i decided to make my own but anyways all right i'm gonna put the labels on the jars wish me luck that they're all, all even because it's gonna bother me if they're not hi hello i can't find my camera tripod so i just have you guys sitting on the candle thing here so here's the label i'm thinking so i have one jar here and i'm gonna align it to the jar going across if that makes sense okay you guys here are all the jars and they're all labeled and i love how they look I'm so excited so the little method to have them all kind of um, even worked out really well oh my gosh I just love okay so I'm gonna start filling them in now
there's still some stuff in here that needs to be taken out. We have all these guys too. Um, I definitely need to sort through that. So I cleared this drawer. This is the top drawer. This one's all clear too. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put the spices in the top drawer. So I got these um, organizers on Amazon too, so I'll link that below. But we're going to put the spices here so they're easy access and they can be laid down. So this is what the spice drawer looks like. This is our most used. Let me zoom in a little bit here. I love this so much. I did have some in the back there. They're pretty easy to grab, like not too terrible. Um, but those we don't really use that much. Um, yeah, so these right here, easy access, love it. And then down below, the second drawer is, oh, it's locked. <laughs> it's where we have the rest of the stuff. So I did have these white organizers laying around, so I decided to use them for like packets and stuff. And then here are some more of the jars that I did today. We don't really use those much. And then we have salt and pepper shakers. And then like the rest of the stuff that I didn't put in jars. Um, some leftover ones, you know just there and I did put them in this little container just because I didn't want them like floating around if that makes sense um, so yeah that's just what that looks like now moving in here I have our garbage bags here um, I think I'm gonna move these out actually and put oh, sorry, seats, and put all of these in there and then this is our garbage here I have this kind of stuff. So actually, maybe this should go here because these, you know, oven. Um, but yeah, this is mainly just like oven things. And I have my labels for the cookbooks. I have some cookbooks down there that I think I'm going to get rid of. I don't like those at all anymore. Um, have some lighters here too and some extra, um, what's called dishcloths. But down here, I was thinking of putting all of the garbage bags since I have all these here. So I don't know, I'm just gonna organize. This is recycled coffee pods. And then we have more garbage stuff here, bags and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and organize these. I think I'm gonna put paper towels down here too. Um, we'll see. So that's, that's my little project now. Um, I think, yeah, I'm going to move this over to this drawer. So here in the bottom shelf, I have all of our garbage bags. This is for the kitchen. This is for Liam's um, diaper pail. And then I have plastic bags. I don't know about you guys, but I keep plastic bags because we use those around the house too. So I have these um, 
what is it called, like baskets? It looks like this. I got it from Walmart a few years ago, but I think they still have them, so I'll try and link it below. But I have one here for small bags, and then I have another one here for big bags. I know it's hard to see, but yeah, so this is all garbage bags, and then up here, I'm gonna put paper towels. So I'll be right back, and this I've tried wiping off already, and it just doesn't come off. It's just stained on the wood, so yeah, like those little stains. All right, so here we go. These are all paper towels, like literally, you guys. There's so much in there. I just put all of our paper towel stock in here. These used to be in the pantry, but now I moved it all here. So in the pantry, I'm gonna put our bottled waters, but I love this. So paper towels. This, if you're wondering, are the coffee, coffee pods that I'm gonna be recycling. And yeah, so there you go. And then this is garbage. Up here, I have this. So grocery list pad and just pot holders, stuff like that. Um, over here we have all this. This is nice, like all this actually fits in here so nicely. And yeah, and that's garbage. I have to organize up here. This is garbage. This I need to put in the linen closet. Decided to just keep all the dishcloths in there. And this is mess. Um, I'm gonna make pork guinea ling for lunch. And yeah, little boy has been next to me the whole time with his iPad that's upside down. <laughs> so that's garbage. Anyways, like I was saying, we have bottled waters here. We never really had a place for them. We always just buy one pack and then put it in the fridge right away. But um, we have a stock now because of what's going on. So this used to be where the paper towels were at. And they used to go here in the bottom. But now, you know, that's from the paint from the baskets. But I'm going to wipe that down and I'm going to put all the waters in here just so they're, you know, out of the way and whatnot. And I, I'm glad that it's in the bottom <laughs> because, you know, the weight and stuff, I don't want it like, I don't want to put so much weight on these shelves up here. But yeah. Oh, and by the way. Some of you were asking where our microwave was, and it's in the pantry. We just don't like it on the counter, just because it's, it's an eyesore. And to be honest, we we use it maybe twice a week. So it was something that like I we didn't need out constantly. So it's here. We have a blender here. Usually the blender is in the back, and then the rice cooker is in front. And then here we have um, our... What is this called? Air fryer. And then here, this is all sous vide stuff for Tom's. Um, it's, it's a bunch of little things, so that's why I have it in a basket, just so it's all together. And then this is our rice. And then um, up here is all my radon mugs, like my radon collection is there. Just the mugs though. And then here we have, this is goldfish. I bought a big one, but that's supposed to go on the other side of the pantry, but there's no room. Um, anyways, I have all my placemats, chargers that I love. And then when we have gas and stuff, I actually just take this out and it has paper plates, napkins, all the utensils and whatnot, and then I have cups back there. So yeah, that's kind of what this basket is. I love that. And there you go. That's like a little tour of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put the waters here and I'll show you guys how that looks in a second. Okay. So this is what it looks like. So I have all the waters here. This is heavy, super full. And then they have my stand mixer back there. I used that this morning actually. Um, but yeah, there it is. So that is the side of the pantry. If you ever wondered what it looks like. Over here, I have Parmesan cheese. I also have one up there, so let's see. Oh, this is still good. So I'm just gonna put it up here, but I don't think I ever showed you guys this. I organized this last month, like in Jan end of January, I organized this. So I had placed this thing here, like a Lazy Susan thing to put all like the condiments and oils and stuff like that that we use and then we have bigger oils here and then more vinegar back there that's just kind of how i organize it and then here really there's nothing back there it's just what you see here that's it 
over here too and then we have sugar and salt there gonna have to fix that but yeah these aren't full like there's nothing behind this container and this container is pretty tiny um i didn't want to overfill it because or overfill it i guess because you can't really see what's back there so yeah that's just how i have this area organized i'm gonna have to like clean it out i feel like this is oh no it's not really it's just looks like that but yeah all of these have liners um i'll try and link these below but this is my favorite liner they're just clear um plastic easily wipeable it's amazing i love it we've been using it for years um i think i bought those when we moved in so i really like those more than like the sticky squishy ones okay so i just went through here again just to make sure it was clean and looks like it's good i did add this little container for up here for all the little things um, and then yeah this looks the same as when I did it with you guys um, so I did do a whole organization video where you can get all this stuff and how I have it organized so I'll link that below for you in the description box if you're interested that's the under the sink organization and then over here I just organized so this whole section is Liam's like it has all his plates and bottles and for travel things everything like that and i have like containers to organize things if you're wondering they're just clear organizers and down here i have gallon water and then just this little guy it just has little things that we tend to grab like my vitamins are here and then this big jar of sugar which i actually use all the time whenever i'm cooking something so that's what's in the side very neat and then this is new i did this last week i think or last weekend ah. so this used to go down below with the waters and whatnot but now it's in this drawer which i absolutely love so i have all my coffee here um tom's coffee he loves this copico instant coffee and then i have random ones here that we've had these are our favorites the melosia one i don't know why i bought this i really want to try it. i haven't tried it yet i'm scared that i'll try it and then not like it though we have decaf as well and this is my tea this is my favorite tea at the moment it is the yogi honey lemon throat comfort it just tastes really good like even if you don't have a sore throat or anything it just tastes so good so that's my favorite um tea at the moment they don't sell the other tea that i like anymore so i'm sad about that so this is it this is my tea i got rid of my chai tea and stuff like that um but yeah i have a lot of them i bought it on amazon it was a ton of boxes i think six boxes for 20 bucks or something like that i'll link it below if it's still available but they sell out real quick on amazon anyways in this part here this is always like this this is our utensils um I have a liner in here as well and then i have this bamboo organizer i love this we've had this for years since our last house and look how perfect it is this is all liam's utensils it fits in there so nicely and then those are normal silverware stuff like that and then on this side is just everything else like knives um measuring spoons i don't know just everything is in here i have an organizer in there but as you can see <laughs> This is organized as it's gonna get y'all like it gets messy. We use this all the time. So yeah, and then down below here Let me just show you Okay, so top section is all baking stuff. So these are all measuring cups and whatnot um, I do have organizers as you can see like this back there There's two back there to organize Tupperware So we have plastic Tupperwares and glass Tupperwares and then this is my mixing bowls and then my bakeware things and then down below we have pots and pans i've gotten rid of a lot this is it um i think some is in the sink right now but for the most part this is it um i've gotten rid of a lot we had so much before you guys it was so full it wouldn't even fit and it was just such a mess and yeah so anyways these are all from home goods i bought them very recently last month um and I love them looks so cute and then yeah I have an organizer there to organize the pots and pans I didn't even take the tag off but I've had that for years and then we have um, the cutting boards there so 
That is it, you guys. Oh my goodness. He's still here with me. He's so good. <laughs> as long as he has an iPad, but. All right. I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes and start cooking, cooking lunch. chair it's okay she can yeah she can sleep there <laughs> you're cute it's okay come on Liam come on she can sleep there oh you want to go up there with her now don't ya you're cute <laughs> what is it now oh were you in your closet little boy your closet open. What is happening here? Shitty boy. Oh my goodness. Okay, don't bother her, babe. Come on, let's go. Come on, babe. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh oh. He wants to go with Mia. Silly. <laughs> oh, look at this. So clean, 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 clean. Well, we have all this here, but that's okay. And then I'll clean, I'll clean, I'll clean. I do want to polish all the appliances later and then of course the countertops, but pretty clean y'all. So clean. Also kind of look through in here and like empty things out. Um, throw away, you know, leftovers. Need to put cans in there, but everything else is fully stocked. So time went shopping. I have to put these in the pantry. So here is the pantry. All done. Yay. Nice and stocked. And then I also 
cleaned here in the dining. That's my diaper bag if you guys are wondering. I don't want to put it in the entryway, so it's staying here. <laughs> Not that we go anywhere, but it's ready to go. And then this is all garbage, just gonna go out. Laundry room, I'm about to do laundry. I need to clean around there, like look how messy they get. So messy, and then if you're wondering what that is, that is for the fireplace tiles. Um, bedroom is kind of a mess, but that's okay. And look, little boy is still sleeping. Oh my goodness, still sleepy. There's this, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off actually. And these, and yeah, I'll put new ones out in a bit, but still need to wipe down the appliances. But everything else is really clean. Tom actually just cleaned the stove real quick, but I wanted to show you guys this again because I'm obsessed and it's so pretty. And I already cooked today and used this and it worked out really well, so I love it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed cleaning or decluttering and organizing our kitchen. It was so much fun. I'm so happy about um, this area too. We need to put a lock here, but oh, this was never functional before. I don't know why. It took me so long to just do it. But yeah, so I made rice, and also this was the pork guinea ling from lunch, and we're gonna have it again in like, I don't know, 10 minutes we'll probably eat again. But pork guinea ling, I cooked that today. And this is the brownies that are left over from yesterday. Oh, and I made boiled eggs as well to go with the guineling. And again, Tom shopped today, so we got a bunch of bananas. Go ahead and wrap up this video. Going in the laundry room to do some laundry. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, like usual, I'll try and link as many things as I can down below in the description box. Um, a lot of the things are from Amazon, so... Yeah, really excited. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog organizing the kitchen. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!